can't fucking believe this. I can't fucking believe this. <laughs> the top fucking G. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't. I, I don't know what's going on. Like I rate Jake Paul as well. Like he's he's he's, he's savage at the moment. It's definitely got more chance of happening than the, the pro game for the boxing because every single fight falls through, doesn't it? This is a fight I am not missing. Honestly, this is going to be sick. Thing is, yeah, Jake Paul has been going through like like MMA fighters and not so it's not quite boxers, but now he's stepping up to quite. He's still a kickboxer, he's not really a boxer, but you know what? Andrew Tate can 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 work this shit out. But really, the experience and um. And, and the exposure to boxing levels is on on his favour. But when the top G called him out and says, listen, there's plenty of people like you, Jake Paul, that would beat the hell out of you, da 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 Oh, my God. He's the one now. And, like, this is just... Oh, my God. I can't... Honestly, it's a really good matchup. I think, like, it's a perfect fight for Jake as well. The, the management of Jake and the way they've, they've built build him up has been absolutely just... Every fight's been really, like, good names. Um, and the quite right opponents for what level he's at. But the top G now, like, honestly, oh my God.